Adolescents in Wisconsin are reporting increasing thoughts of suicide and feelings of depression and anxiety. That's according to a new report released today by the state's Office of Children's Mental Health. McKenna Alexander joins us now to break down some of the data findings and share what state leaders are doing to move us forward. Now, this report announced today finds that nearly 34% of Wisconsin students say they feel sad and hopeless almost every day. It's a statistic that has researchers searching for solutions. In a report briefing Friday afternoon, the Office of Children's Mental Health shared several points of progress and several areas where significant improvement is needed. As far as progress, bullying has slightly decreased, teen birth rate has dropped, and the number of school social workers, counselors, and psychologists increased. But when it comes to room for improvement, more needs to be done to address a rising trend of students experiencing negative mental health. There's lower academic performance. Students are feeling less connected to their school than they did five years ago. The number of kids who are experiencing negative mental health conditions, including depression, anxiety, self-harm, and suicide, are all increasing. One of the most startling statistics from the report is that over half of Wisconsin high schoolers say they have experienced struggles of anxiety and depression, with a third of them saying they feel sad and hopeless every day. That's a 10% increase from 2012. Ava Pellegrino, a student at McGuanago High School, is one of those students that's experienced the effects of negative mental health. In casual conversations with my peers and friends, I have found the statistic to be endorsed by at least 50%. I, myself, have anxiety and worked actively to manage it every day. I believe that this statistic increases during high school as educational stakes become higher, with pressures of graduation, achieving higher level education, or going out into the workforce. While COVID relief funding has allowed for an increase to the number of school-based mental health professionals, the state's professional to patient ratio remains at 440 to 1, while the national recommendation is 250 to 1. For students like Ava, she's hoping these reports' findings shine light on an issue that's been hiding in the shadows for far too long. I think COVID is a time frame many pinpoint as a start of the increase in mental health issues. However, I do feel these issues were on the rise even prior to COVID and that perhaps COVID gave us the reason we needed to seek the help to speak up about issues that have been left unaddressed for decades. If you or someone you know is in crisis, as always, you can call or text the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline at 988.